I know what it's like to be on a fertility journey and feel like you have to do all the right things all of the time. And I know how that feels in your body. It feels stressful and like you're running out of time. And then when you come up against disappointment, you can feel like, oh, I'm doing everything right. Why is it still not working? So when we talk about creating a morning routine when you're on a fertility journey, I don't want you to do anything that doesn't feel good for you. Your morning routine is supposed to set you up to have a positive day. And whilst yes, I'm gonna talk about some things that will help you fertility wise, help you to manage stress, that's gotta be our main focus. Because when you think about fertility, it's a whole body picture. If you are trying to do all of the right things, eating the right food, doing the right kind of movement, but you're doing it in a way that's creating stress, like you're feeling up here, trying to get everything perfect, then it's like pouring water into a bucket that has a big hole in the bottom. You're not gonna be improving your fertility, you're not gonna be creating optimum health in the body, which is what we need for fertility, because it's like leaking out the bottom in stress. I want you to come back to that calm and centered place that you probably started trying to conceive from. That place where you felt excited and hopeful and I hope patient, because it might take a little while Making changes for fertility isn't a quick fix. It's about looking at what we've been doing with our body, with our mind, with our spirit, our stress levels, our nutrition, looking at all of the pieces of the puzzle and finding a way to be the healthiest versions of ourselves that we can be. So when I share this fertility morning routine with you, I share it with the awareness that if anything in this routine stresses you out, I want you to leave it and forget about it. It's not worth it if this adds stress to your plate. It is my intention though, that these things will help you to set yourself up for a day with less stress. I find breath work, I find movement, I find meditation, put me in a place of feeling connected to myself, help me to make good choices throughout my day so that if I do this in the morning as a part of my morning routine, I'm more likely to make good choices at breakfast time. I'm more likely to make good choices in the afternoon, instead of working, 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 I'll take a break and do what I need to do to lower my stress levels. So with that being said, let's get into what a morning routine might look like if you're on a fertility journey. So I like to start my day by having a cup of tea and a glass of water. When I first wake up, my brain is not engaged. So I can't go straight into a yoga practice yet. I like to ease myself into the day. So making a cup of tea feels like easing myself into the day. Sometimes I'll read a book while I drink my cuppa. You'll notice that I'm not having a cup of coffee first up in the morning. If you're on a fertility journey, coffee in the morning is just going to kickstart those cortisol, those stress levels. So if you are still drinking coffee, you wanna save that for later once you've got some food in your belly so that you're not adding stress unnecessarily. Next up, I like to do a little bit of breath work just to recenter myself in my own thoughts, in my own body. And this doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to go for a long period of time. It might just be five minutes that you just sit and you close your eyes and maybe you put your hands on your belly and you focus on the inhale and you focus on the exhale. If you wanna do other types of breath work, you absolutely can. So when I'm feeling anxious, I often like to do Nadi Shodan, which is alternate nostril breathing. And that's where you're using the hands to breathe in one nostril and out the other. And you might do this for five rotations and then go in the opposite direction and then finally finish by breathing through both nostrils. This is the type of breath work that I do when I'm feeling particularly anxious. I just find that the focus that's involved helps to really calm my energy, bring me back to my center and helps me to kind of forget about all those anxious thoughts while I'm doing it. So to practice this type of breath work, I take two fingers and I place them on my forehead and then I use my thumb and my ring finger to close each alternate nostril. I like to close down my eyes as I practice this. So I'm gonna block the left nostril and inhale through the right. And then I'm going to block the right and exhale through the left. Reverse the circles, inhaling through the left and exhaling through the right. Release both nostrils and breathe in deeply and then out fully through both nostrils. Like I said, this doesn't have to be a long drawn out process for you to include in your morning routine to get the benefits from it. Even just five minutes to recenter and focus on that breath 
can help so much with anxiety, with stress levels, and help you to start the day from a really grounded place. The next thing I like to include in my morning routine is a simple sun salutation. So yes, you could do a full yoga practice, and I have lots of fertility specific yoga classes here on my YouTube channel and also in my online yoga circle that you could include in your morning routine. The reason I say sun salutation is because that is the bare minimum for me. In order to fight that resistance that comes up when you think about moving your body and you're still feeling sleepy and sluggish, I always just tell myself I only have to do a sun salutation, which is a really simple series of movements. They're repetitive, I don't have to think about them. And I tell myself I'm going to do just that because that gets me on my mat. And some days that's all that I do and that's okay. At least I've moved my body, I've become present and aware of my body. It helps me to connect with those parts of me that are feeling stressed, which sometimes I'm not aware of if I just get up and go about my day without doing any sort of movement. So a sun salutation is absolutely enough if that's all I do, but often I find that I end up doing more because it feels so good once I'm there. So I wanna encourage you, if you are trying to create a yoga habit to support your fertility first thing in the morning, just let it be the bare minimum. You only have to do a sun salutation or you only have to do five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever the bare minimum looks like for you. Get started on creating that habit. Let it be okay if you only do the bare minimum and let yourself be surprised when it ends up creeping out to more. The final thing you should include in your morning routine if you're on a fertility journey is a brain dump. This is a simple journaling exercise where you just write out all the things, all the thoughts, everything that's going on in your brain and dump it onto a piece of paper. The reason why this is so important when you're on a fertility journey is because we hold lots of moving pieces. You might have appointments, you might have lots of specialists, you might have lots of opinions. People might have said things to you that were offensive, your partner might have said something that hurt, and there might be no outlet for that in your regular life because typically we don't talk about what's going on for us in our fertility journey, unless of course you have a counselor, which I would love to recommend if you don't already have one. It is great to be able to talk to someone about what you're going through. I offer one-to-one -one sessions if you don't know who to reach out to, but if you don't have that luxury of talking to a counselor around what you're going through, Writing it out is the next best thing. Every morning, just brain dump it out. It doesn't matter if you wrote about it yesterday. If it's still rolling around in your head, getting it out on paper is so, so helpful. Don't let yourself overthink it. Nobody's gonna read it. If you feel like you need to, you can rip it up later. It doesn't matter. Get it out of your head. Get all those nasty thoughts out so that you can come back to a bit of a more leveled, more centered, more grounded place to start your day from. Too often I work with women on a fertility journey and we're so in it, we're so wrapped up in the thoughts they consume us. It dictates every part of our life that we forget that you can step outside of it and still live your happy, joyful, enjoyable, lovely life and be on a fertility journey and be trying to conceive. It doesn't have to be one or the other. And I'd actually argue that's a really negative place to try and conceive from. It's a really stressful place. It doesn't feel good. It puts stress on our relationship when it should be focused on creating love and creating connection because that's what you're trying to create. You're trying to create a family. So give these four things a try in your morning routine. See how they feel. See if you like them. Maybe they don't work in the morning for you. Maybe they work better off in the evening. Let me know in the comments what you like to include in your fertility morning routine and hopefully I see you on the mat soon.